Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at the connection that you're having with a specific person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with. What are the mutual energies in this connection? What are you thinking or feeling about each other? So let's jump right in for Scorpio. Angels, guides for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Oh, okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> What does Scorpio need to know with this person that they're thinking about or connecting with? I keep seeing the Ten of Swords. Like, I keep seeing the Ten of Swords. Okay. For Scorpio. What's going on in this connection between, let's start there, between Scorpio and this other person? What do we need to know about what's going on in this connection between Scorpio and this person? Queen of Swords... King of Cups, Five of Pentacles. I want one more. Hmm. Well, I can tell you right now, I don't think you're communicating with this person. Even though that's necessary. Like, it needs to happen. Someone's, like, very sad that this isn't happening Okay, tell me more. What's going on in this connection between Scorpio and this person? Knight of Pentacles. I feel like someone's waiting for this to come. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. So I'm getting this energy of someone that's like questioning why something isn't happening, why communication hasn't come, or why there's a separation, or why there's like a distance. In this connection because this knight of pentacles is a potential it's like potential the potential of this connection is huge but when i see these two energies together this king of cups and this queen of swords especially in this deck this design it's like king of cups has his eyes closed and she has her back turned to him and her eyes are kind of closed Let's clarify these. Tell me about this King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Ace of Swords and the Sun. Okay, why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Moon. Okay. <laughs> I love it because they're complete opposite energies. <laughs> You're not on the same page in a way because like the Ace of Swords and the Sun, this is like openness, clarity, communication, good news, right? Victory, breakthrough. And then the Nine of Wands and the Moon, the Moon, Pisces energy is like closed off energy. What's hidden, what's underneath the surface, what's in the dark. There's doubts, there's confusion, there's no clarity with the moon. And the nine of wands is like defensiveness, protection, especially the queen of swords with the nine of wands. Someone is closed off in this connection and the other person wants to be open. That's kind of what it looks like here. Let me know if that's already resonating for you, but that's what I'm seeing. That you're both kind of like divided. Or maybe there's an element here of deep down you want a specific thing, but on the outside, nobody will know. Tell me more about what's going on here between Scorpio and this other person. You're both unhappy. I could tell you that. What's going on here in this connection? Happy ending, abundance, joy, fulfillment. That is what's possible, for sure. That's what someone's desiring, most likely, as well. Yeah, divine timing and happy ending. So it's like, I feel someone is thinking, well, this is what I expect from this connection. This is what's possible. I, I, I know I'm going to have my happy ending with this individual because I feel like it's divinely guided. But then nothing's really happening or things are not where you would expect them to be right now. 
Maybe you're thinking, well, maybe it's just not the right time for us. But this could still be a thing. Poetic justice at the bottom of the deck. Something needs to be addressed. That's the word. Something needs to be addressed. That's what I'm getting from that card. Like an official decision or looking at something from a specific viewpoint, like logically, analytically, you know, the facts are important. Hmm. Maybe there's something legal as well for some of you, but it's almost like there's, there's an elephant in the room here. It's driving me nuts, but, <laughs> but it is. And I, I feel like communication is very important for this connection because you're so divided right now. It's like a black and white energy here between you and this person. And I feel like it could only be addressed with communication. Like you can only come together to an to a, a common understanding if you communicate. What else do we need to know about this connection? What else do we need to know about this connection for Scorpio? Love spell, new love, passion, infatuation. Yeah, this could definitely work, Scorpio. I'm speaking to a Scorpio where it's like this connection has like all of the right ingredients. <laughs> And I think you recognize it. I just don't know if this person recognizes it or vice versa. Maybe this person feels like this connection has a lot of potential, but you don't see it. Okay, so let's look at your in, um, energies individually here. I'm going to have... Um, let me move this up. I'm going to have you on the left and your person on the right. But feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more because the energy is fluid. So let's start with you, Scorpio. What is Scorpio thinking or feeling, Spirit, when it comes to this connection? What is, Scorp what is Scorpio thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? The Hermit, the Six of Cups. Well, you're thinking about the past fondly. Virgo energy. You're thinking about reflecting. Maybe your intuition tells you that this could that this is your soulmate or someone special. Maybe there are good happy memories that you still think of. What is Scorpio thinking, feeling about this person, this connection? Yeah, Page of Cups. You have an interest in this person, feelings for this person. I don't think you've expressed them. For some reason, when I see the Page of Cups, I feel like you're not very open about this, Scorpio. I think you're scared to put your heart out there. Yeah, it's like you're withdrawn a little bit with the Hermit. You know, you're quiet about how you truly feel. But you still think about the past. Maybe you haven't admitted it to this person that you still think about the past. I'm using my own Oracle decks in this reading, by the way. They're uh, available on Etsy and I've linked them down below if you're curious. Tell me about Scorpio. Please ignore my dogs in the background. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear them. Tell me about what Scorpio's thinking or feeling. I must confess that I'm in love with you. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, I feel like you have to reveal how you feel. Maybe this person is keeping their feelings hidden. You know, feel free to flip it. But I think some of you Scorpios have not felt comfortable enough to reveal how you feel. I know what love is because of you. Mm. And bottom of the deck, destiny will help us find each other. I feel like in your mind, it's only a matter of time before you are and this person are together or they feel that hmm let's look at them tell me about this person that scorpio is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know this deck does not want to like shuffle easily today for some reason there's that ten of swords Tell me about this person. What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Scorpio? Let's see where they're at. Where are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Scorpio? 
Two of Cups. Wow. The lovers, the Two of Cups. Six of Cups is here. Divine timing is here. Tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling. Ten of Pentacles. My goodness. They see the potential. I feel like they're the ones that see the potential for this happy ending. Because I feel like one of you sees the potential. One of you sees how this could work long term. Eight of Wands is here. What's this Eight of Wands about? What's this Eight of Wands about? Okay. What's this Eight of Wands about? Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Wands, please. Mm. So with the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, I feel like this person is thinking about what action or communication they want to kind of take or, or deliver. But I don't think they're quite there yet to the point where they would actually do it. Because the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups together, this is someone that's not sure. They're still deciding. And the Eight of Pentacles is telling me, well, maybe they just want to work on it a little bit more. Perfect it. Maybe they don't have the time to dedicate to this or... I don't know, like maybe in their mind, they're like, I just need to prove myself a little bit more or something. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. So they're thinking new, new adventure, new beginning, new start. Something they're very passionate about. But I don't think they're there yet. Can you get one more energy, please, for this person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with, Spirit? What do we need to know about this individual? Wow, the Empress. They see potential. They see how this could be something special. I don't know if you, you know, of course, flip the energy if it resonates more for you. This could be your energy here, but one of you sees how this could work, and the other one is not sure, or the other one is hesitant. One of you is willing to be open and the other one is not ready. Tell me if that's resonating in the comments. Tell me more for Scorpio. What do we need to know for Scorpio spirit? What does Scorpio need to know about this connection? I, my feelings for you have not changed. What does Scorpio need to know? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Scorpio? Waiting around. Wow, I just did a Pisces reading and these two cards came out for their person as well. If you're dealing with a Pisces, go check out that reading. What else? What else? What is this person thinking, feeling about Scorpio? I am going through a hard time and heartfelt apology at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be bringing you an apology because maybe that's why they're not sure if they're ready to kind of send that message because maybe... They want to make sure that they say the right thing. But waiting around, I'm getting... For Pisces, I got a different message for waiting around. This waiting around is like, my feelings haven't changed, but I'm waiting to see if Scorpios has or have. <laughs> what is English, okay? So it's, it's, it's almost like they're waiting to see where you are at because they know where they're at. I think it kills them to have to like wait for you. But I'm also picking up that this could be tied to that 10 of swords that I keep seeing that didn't come out here. I don't think that 10 of swords is relevant for your connection. I think that this person is probably having an ending of a cycle in their own life right now that might slow them down as well. Maybe it has to do with work, money, five of pentacles is here, but that's what's happening here. I feel like your happy ending is only a, ma a matter of time, Scorpio. It's just you both have to get on the same page. And maybe you will once this heartfelt apology is like s delivered or expressed. Maybe this is what it takes. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't hesitate to hit that like button. 
subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And hopefully I'll see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.